Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to Messages from Above with Tony G. Tony is a world-renowned psychic medium. She has had the gift of being a psychic medium and channel her entire life. Tony hosts two TV shows, Create a Life You Love and Psychic Medium Tony G. She is also the author of five books. Being a healer and a hypnotist as well, it is her purpose and her passion to help you in every way she can. Phone lines are open now. Call in 858-365-5593 and let Tony answer your questions about life love, finances, or help you connect with a loved one on the other side. Enjoy the show. Good morning and happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for listening in. Okie dokie. Um... So today, I want to start again with a clearing, um, and it's one of the most important clearings that I think we can do, and it's for self-love. I think everything starts with self-love, how much we allow ourselves to have, what kind of love we bring into our life, how much love we can give out. It all starts with how much we love ourselves. So I'm just going to start with that and I'm going to um, start clearing if there is a lack of self-love and we're going to clear any lack of self-love and have that start right now. So if you feel pressure, if you feel heaviness, if you feel coolness, if you feel uh, energy moving, anything you feel right now um, can be an indicator that this is working on you. Some people do feel things, other people do not. It's perfectly okay no matter what. And I am going to be taking callers all all through the show. I ask that when I say your area code, you tell me your name and where you're located, and then um, have your question ready. So it's one question per caller. And if you uh, have a question, make it a direct question. Please don't say, tell me about my relationship. Tell me about my life. Tell me about, or is there a message? Uh, what does spirit, just make it a direct question for the show. Just because that helps me to be more efficient, get that answer right away. And you know, my phone lines are always full, and I do want to try to um, get to as many people as possible during the show. That's really important to me because there are people who've been calling in for months and have never been able to get through. And I just, I feel like I want to get to as many people as possible. So um, if you have a connection, please make it one connection to a loved one on the other side, and I just need their name and their relationship to you. And if you have a question for them, uh, we can start with that question, okay? So let's go to the first caller. And the first caller is, dun, 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 area code 780. Hello, 780. How are you today? Hey, thanks, Tony, for taking my call. It's Jay calling from uh, Canada, Western Canada. Oh, excellent. How are you? It's been a bit. Yeah, no, I know. I, yeah, it's my day off, so I decided to call in. So, yeah, yeah, thanks so much. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent. Thank you so much for asking. How can You're I welcome. help you today? Sure. My question is is with a uh, uh, message or advice from my mother that passed on regarding how to deal with my, step- my stepmother who's still leaving right now. Um. Regarding a situation, yeah. 
I hear the first thing I hear is um I'm trying to look further past the first thing I hear. So I hear let go. Um, don't be afraid to walk away. Um, I'm hearing this situation will resolve itself. Um, there are people, not only her, but other people working from the other side to try to resolve this and bring to light what needs to be brought to light. Uh, your stepmother is a very resentful person, I'm hearing. She's very, very resentful. She's not very understanding, and she can be quite harsh. Is that, ac- um, is that accurate? Yes. So, um, first of all, nobody should, should have to be uh, in a situation where this is happening or the uh, any sort of abusive action is being taken toward them, whether it's verbal or physical or emotional. And I'm hearing let go, let go, let go. You cannot appease certain people. No matter what you say or do, it's never going to be good enough. No matter what you say or do, it's never going to be good enough. You cannot kill this person with kindness. No matter how good you are, no matter how logical, it's not going to matter. So just you have to be willing to uh, concede your place in this and just hands up, like, like a hands up sort of thing. I surrender, whatever, and let them take care of the rest of it. And they will. They will take care of the rest of it for you. Is this helpful? Okay. Yep. It doesn't mean, and, and it doesn't mean you're n- not going to get what you are seeking. It just means you don't have to fight for it. Let others take care of that. And there's always a go around. There's always a work around. Bypass her and go to the next person, Okay. Okay. I hope that makes sense for you. It will. It will. If it doesn't now, yep. it's going to. Okay, love. Okay. Yeah, it's my Thank dad's birthday so today, much. so I was gonna. Yeah, my dad's birthday today, so thanks much. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for the message. Oh, absolutely. And and I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Oh. Stay stay strong, but don't don't take crap. <laughs> don't take crap. <laughs> so yeah. so that's the message. So um, I hope I get to hear from you again soon. Thank you so much for taking the time to call in on your day off. You're welcome. It's uh, have a lovely day and lovely, lovely too. So and everybody out there who are, who's oh. holding too, thank you. All right, great for the message. You, you yeah. are so welcome. And till next time, stay safe till and stay time. happy. Till next yeah, you time. Too. Same to you. Yep. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, I'm going to go directly to the next caller. Now, I want you to know that the clearing I did in the beginning for self-love, if you listen, re-listen to this show, it will keep working on you and keep working on you and keep clearing everything that is stopping or blocking you from having self-love. And there is a difference between unconditional love and egoic love. And because we are not always familiar with that and growing up we're taught not to be don't think too much of yourself uh or or don't be too prideful or whatever those statements or you have to be humble there it it we we don't even as adults sometimes know the difference between that like we think we have to have like if somebody compliments us, we right away deflect that compliment instead of saying, thank you so much. We say, oh, no, it's just, just a good day. Oh, I'm just having a good hair day. Oh, I'm just having this. I'm just, you know, we make up an excuse for the compliment. Like, but the, the point is we want to be in that place where we have pure, unconditional self, um, self-love. The way we would have pure, unconditional love for a newborn baby That's the type of love we should have for ourselves. And the way a baby has unconditional love for itself is the way we should love ourselves, right? Um, So that's what it's going to work on. So please, by all means, listen and re-listen to this um, 
clearing at the very beginning. And, and if you can handle doing it twice a day, once a day, uh, once a week, whatever is good for you, just when you get back to it, get back to it, okay? Going to go to the very next caller, 334. Hello, 334. How are you today? Hi, I'm fine. Hey, Tommy. Good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? It's uh, Kiki from Alabama. Oh, Kiki. How are you? Yes, sir. I'm fine. Feeling in the bed. Um, I just want to see whatever messages come up. So I'm always asking about love. So just whatever spirit want to tell me. Oh, would be fine. Okay, Kiki. I normally don't do that because it just takes up oh. a bit more. But here, let me do this. I do have um, a grandmother coming through. I think it's mm-hmm. a grandmother. I'm hoping it's a grandmother because I said grandmother. She looks like a grandmother, yeah. and grandmother blew out my mouth. So we're going to go there. And she wants to say, focus in on family. Focus in on immediate family, meaning those in your home. Focus in on them for the next week to week and a half. You need to really pay attention to what's going on in your inside your own home. Okay, I don't know why this message mm-hmm. is just coming through. And you can um, message me later if you figure out what this is about or at the end of the two-week period. Um, If you feel like sharing it, you can. You don't have to. She's saying you need to – now, when she says this, it doesn't mean literally. You need to clean up what's going on in your home. Now, this doesn't mean, like, get out your mop and your broom, okay? Mm -hmm. This means there's something going on. And I think it might be something with your children, maybe not, um, but there's something, and it could be finances. Whatever it is, you need to get a hold of it, you need to keep a hold of it, and you need to work on it. Mm -hmm. And over the next week, week and a half, something is going to be exposed to you. This is important. I'm happy you got through, and I'm actually happy that you asked the way you did. Mm Mm-hmm. Something is going to be exposed to you over the next week to a week and a half, but you have to be paying attention. You have to catch that, like if there's a statement made, you have to catch it. Mm-hmm. You have to be very vigilant about what's being said and what's happening because because there's something going on, I feel like, that you might not be quite aware of, so you need to catch it mm-hmm. now. You need to start focusing in on that home front, and from there, everything will fall into place. Now, why is she showing me like a stuffed unicorn? <laughs> like a stuffed unicorn oh. toy. I don't know. But that's kind of scaring me about the news. I don't know. It's, oh. it, it's not always that it's something bad, okay? Mm-hmm. It might be something that you're you're being pro, – you can be proactive about and – um and 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 get ahead of not maybe it's not even something that has started but you can be proactive about it and start it so for for example mm-hmm. um sometimes little girls or little boys try to be grown too fast and then we have to pull mm-hmm. them back a bit and be like oh that's for grown ups that's that's mm-hmm. not for a child you're you're acting too right. grown right now so it it could be something mm-hmm. as simple as that It could be something else, whatever it is, unless you're really paying, keeping your, the way she is saying it, keep your nose in your house. (laughs) I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but that's what she's saying. She's saying you will catch this right away. You will see it and you will be able to correct it. Now, this could also mean, because they brought up finances, love, because they brought up finances, it could be an error with something in money, like on a receipt, on your bank. Um, It could be an error with that. But she's saying pay attention, pay attention. You need to pay attention over the next week, week and a half. Uh, Make sure no money goes missing. Make sure you're paying attention. Now, you might be nervous about this message, but you should be elated about this message because I love when they give little warnings and we're not um, caught off guard or we miss something. We need to know mm-hmm. when something's coming down the pike. And people always say, I don't want to hear anything bad. I go, oh, there's nothing bad. It's either a warning 
to help you get through something or to prevent something. In this case, I feel like you're going to be able to prevent whatever is coming or fix it immediately. Okay. Fix it immediately. So keep your nose in your house, as she's saying. Yes, Pay yeah. attention to what's going on in your house. Be very, very careful. Mm-hmm. Um, if there are supplements mm-hmm. or vitamins, keep them up. Don't don't accidentally forget something on a counter. Just pay attention and keep it clean in your home. Okay, love? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Excellent. Oh, you're so welcome, and I'm happy you were able to get through, and thank you for being such a dedicated uh, listener to the show. I love that. It, it makes me so yes, happy. Okay, thank you for everything that's coming. All right. Oh, you are so welcome. You are so welcome. And I look forward to next time. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Thank you, love. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to go directly, directly to the next caller. Um, And that next caller is, uh, we are going to go to 224. Hello, 224. How are you today? Hello, I'm doing very good, thank you. Excellent. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Waukegan, Illinois, and my name is Nicole. Hey, Nicole, we're neighbors. How are you? That's awesome. So how can I help you today, love? Uh, Yes, Um, I'm hoping this is a direct question, but my question is, can you ask my loved ones in spirit if I will have an easy delivery? I right away hear yes. And then I hear, well, congratulations first and foremost. Thank Um, you. Yes. Relax. Everything is going to go okay. Relax. So you are very stressed out. And I, I think everybody is right now. I think the whole world has gone way up on our stress levels. So I'm going to I say you're, you're very stressed and nervous. I get a yes. We're going to start clearing that love, okay, because our central nervous system and our muscular system, they work together. And when we're relaxed, everything flows out of us much more easily. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, it does. So we're going to cl- just clear the stress and the nervousness, and we're going to do the best we can to do the best we can. Now the angels come in and they do this clearing work. But it, not only for your situation, anybody who's stressed and nervous listening or re-listening, it's going to start to take some of that stress and nervousness away about all the circumstances going on right now. I want you to know you are divine, and I'm channeling for you right now. You are divinely protected. Everything is being watched over. This will be um, uncomplicated. Uncomplicated is the word they're using. Okay, love? Okay, thank you. You are so welcome, and I hope you have an amazing, an amazing experience, magical, mystical, if you will. Thank you. You are so welcome. Until next time, have an amazing day. You too. Thank you. I'm going to go directly to the next caller, and the next caller is, I, it takes me a second because I have to remember what call I, I just went to and then, and then find, find the next one. So um, 218, 218, how are you today? I'm doing good. Um, how are you? I'm doing amazing. Thank you so much for asking. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Samora, and I'm calling from Minnesota. Awesome. How can I help you today, love? I need to know how my unemployment uh, application is going to go, I guess. I get a yes on that right away. There might be a bit of a delay, but stay vigilant. Pay attention to the paperwork. And... um, I'm hearing yes, absolutely. And I actually hear immediately, but you have to pay attention to the paperwork and you have to be on top of it. You have to be uh, uh, responding very, very quickly. Okay. Excellent. 
Is that all you needed today? Um, yes, that's all that's coming through, yeah. Okay, perfect. Pay pay attention Thank to you. the paperwork. Make sure you're filling out everything correctly. And then absolutely, I, I'm, I'm getting a positive yes on that, but I'm saying be vigilant. If there is a delay, it will be corrected quickly. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much Thank for calling know. in. And, oh, you're welcome. Until next time, have an amazing life. You too. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, this show is going great. I'm getting through to so many people, which I absolutely love, 100% absolutely love. So I'm going to go to the next caller, and the next caller is 805-805. Hello, 805. How are you today? Hello, I'm so glad I got a hold of you. Hi, this is Donna. How are you? I'm good, Donna. How can I help you? I wanted to know about my love life because I've been waiting a long time and um, I wanted to know if you were picking up that I will meet somebody special for my lifetime. You will. Okay, so now okay. sometimes it, it's really difficult when I have to give people a longer range point for me because I know everybody wants to meet somebody now. We don't want to be alone, right? We don't. No. So the first thing... Yeah, it's it's difficult. Like not we can be alone. We've proven we can be alone. But sure. life is about love. So the first thing I'm gonna clear for you, everybody listening, everybody re listening, there's something stopping or blocking, a healthy, loving, successful relationship. I get a yes, we're gonna start clearing that so that whatever is stopping this connection from coming in and being healthy and loving and good, oh, that one always takes my breath away. Ah, it's going to start clearing, and and it will hopefully bring things to fruition a, a little bit more quickly. One thing, and I know it's difficult to get out there and be meeting people right now. It really is. But one thing that I would like to say is be aware when you are out. I mean, we're going grocery shopping. We're picking up essentials at place at different stores. Um, we are out and about. So be aware of who's looking, you know, and, and look back and smile and um, just start there. Um, do, do, do you drink wine? No. No. Okay. Do you go out with People who, do you maybe sit, uh, what I'm seeing, I, I don't know why, I'm just going to tell you what I'm seeing. I see a little, like, cafe table outside, and um, okay. someone someone that is, I think, with you is drinking wine, and then a, a, a table or so away is a gentleman. Now, this doesn't mean go out and start drinking wine because maybe you're having a different beverage. My friend maybe, does. You know? My friend does. She drinks wine. Okay. I have a I see. Okay. So what I'm getting is when I think I don't – if it doesn't happen like this, it's okay. Okay? If it yeah, doesn't well, happen exactly like this, it's okay. But I see that – two of you sitting at like a little outside patio cafe table and there's a gentleman a table or two away and I feel like for some reason this is this is a connection and you need to pay attention to that and you need to be willing to to make that eye contact and have that conversation when this comes excuse me when this comes up okay and I'm going to tell you if if you do this, and I'm not saying go out and do it every night now until this gentleman appears, <laughs> it'll happen naturally. <laughs> and you'll feel safer because you're with a friend and this gentleman is alone. And he's actually, if I'm seeing this correctly, he's sitting in a position where he can look directly at you. <gasps> now, if all of these facts don't fall into place, don't worry. Um, maybe he's sitting in a different position but keeps looking at you. I feel like this is where you might have the, like this is a possibility of meeting this person, okay? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. There's something in alert. that. Yeah. Yes. Be aware, be alert, be looking around. Um, I feel like this gentleman is going to be looking at you. I feel like uh, there's a possible, I always say possible connection because sometimes we look at someone the first time and we think, nope. But then when we get to know them, we're like, oh, my goodness, what an amazing person. Um, or we might just be thinking they're a weirdo because they're staring at us and not think, oh, they're uh-huh. staring because they're interested. They're trying to see if we're reciprocating that that glance, okay? Um, so just know that and know that that is coming in. And I feel like it's going to come in. Not immediately, but but in the future. So when you're invited out for that glass of wine on that outdoor patio, for sure, say yes. I feel like this is a spontaneous event. It just, it, it, it all the pieces fall together at this time, okay, whenever this comes in. And I feel like it's going to be a really good connection. I wish oh, I could give you a timeline on this. I Maybe possibly, possibly, you know what? Let's just wait and see when this happens. Let's just wait and see. I'm not getting a strong enough timeline to feel comfortable telling you. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. (laughs) I hope it does. I really do Um, hope it does. And I, I I need to ask a bit of a question here. Do you have a little bit of fear with a relationship? Maybe I do. a fear of repeating. Okay, good. Thank you for confirming that. And I know that's a that's a tough question to ask. And a lot of times people feel a little bit vulnerable in answering that. But what I'm going to do for you, everybody listening, re-listening, I'm going to say there's fear with a relationship. I, I do get that, yes. So we're going to do the clearing on that also because fear makes it take longer and fear makes us question everything about it. Okay? So mm-hmm. we're going to do that bit of a clearing on fear. So if you feel your heart racing, if you feel some pressure, if you feel like, oh, that's perfectly normal um, for this clearing especially. Um, And whatever you feel is perfectly normal at this point uh, as far as the clearing goes. And I want you to know that as this clears, you're going to know right away because of the way you interact with just people in general, especially of the opposite sex, a little bit more open, a little bit more casual, not that apprehension of, for example, what does he want? You know what I mean? That that it, You won't be as guarded with the situation. Okay. It'll be a more natural and giggly and uh, a bit of a more, uh, uh, no, like just like if you were, uh, speaking with a woman, perhaps, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. I, I I, hope this was helpful. And moving really forward, you I would love... Person. You know that, Tony? Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're a very thank... sweet person. Oh, thank okay. you so much. Thank you. And for you or anybody else that I've I've talked with or or uh, ha- listens to the show, if you feel the difference and you notice the difference in your clearings, please drop me an email. Let me know how it's changed your life and and what came about, what you noticed first, second, and third. Because it's such a an amazing work, but people don't always know that because it's so difficult to describe. But I want to tell you this person is coming in. Keep your faith. Keep your heart open. Don't, don't, um, and believe, and believe, and believe with all of your being that there is somebody that is looking for somebody just like you. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Thank all you. Right. Thank you Thank so you. absolutely much for calling in today. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. You you too. Thank you. I want to let everyone 
listening know I'll be back next Monday at noon for 30 minutes and do this all over again. If you did not get through today, please call back next Monday and I will do my best to get to you. Until then, go make some magic in this big, beautiful world that we live in.